Hi everybody, it's Stacy. Today I'm going to make you a, like a snow globe card. It's for Christmas and it's going to be out of a Christmas ornament and I will show you how to do it. I went ahead and cut all the pieces to save some time and what I did is I cut out, let's see, this is a one and three fourths by four inch piece of white paper and then I came in at the middle and cut the one and one, uh, one and three fourths punch and circle into the middle and that fits your sweet treat cups right in there like that. So I will show you how to do that. First of all, we need to stamp on there the little tiny ornament hanger. This goes at the very, very top of the piece of paper. Make sure that's really full of ink. Come down. Oops, I got a little smudge. Oh well. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to ink up the edges. And I'm using Real Red by Stamping Up. And you can get some coordinating paper and you can choose any color you want on this. And just get the edges really nice and covered. There's no science to this, it's just dragging it along the edge. And I buy these um, eyeshadow applicators in bulk. I think I've said that a million times before. But you can get them at the drugstore, you can get them at the grocery store. And just keep them in a little... You can reuse them, so don't throw them away after you use them. I've used this one several times. Okay, so put that away. Then, what we're going to do is come onto the back and put a little bit of glue along the edge of your circle. And the reason why I want to do this is I want to make sure the seal is really nice and tight because I'm putting glitter in it. And um, I don't want glitter everywhere when you, when you look at this card. That would not be good. One little corner. right thing like that okay so now you take your sweet treat cup and you stick it into the middle and you make sure that it's adhered around the all the edges to make sure it's really stuck down there then what you're gonna do is there's a little split on the sweet treat cup There you go. That pulls up the adhesive. So you make sure that's up. Then you take your glitter, and I'm gonna open the whole thing. And this is just Martha Stewart's glitter. I got this in a set. Um, I had like 20 different colors, and I love it. I use it all the time. And I love this color. Put that away. And then you cut a two inch by two inch piece of square. It doesn't matter what color you choose. And you cover up the opening on the back and make sure that it's on there really well. And then once that's like that, you wanna make sure that you put tape on the edge. Well, since I have a sweet treat, a sweet treat cup, I'm gonna to have to put this on the edge of the, the counter right here and put run tape along the edge. So I will be right back. I'm gonna go off the camera. Just for a second. And this is a really simple card to do. Um, it's not difficult. It can be messy depending on what you choose to use in there. Uh, these sweet treats are used for candy. You put candy in there as well. Um, I have a, a sunflower card I can show you really quick. Oops, before I do that, let's go ahead and adhere this one to the card base. And this is just slightly smaller than my card base. I wanted this quite large. And there are a bunch of Christmas trees, super cute. Center that. And then adhere it down. And then what I want to do is I want to take my white pen. And I want to do some stitching 
all along the edge just to give it a little bit more dimension. You don't have to do this. You can choose different pattern paper if you want rather than a solid base. I like the stitching. I think it gives it a nice effect. Almost done. Home stretch. Across the top. And the great thing about stitching is it doesn't have to be completely even or perfect. Okay. Set that aside. Now I've already put the adhesive on the back. So now I just flip it over. And we center it in middle of the card like that and then make sure you press that down really well and then you have an ornament so you can do anything in the back of that you can put your sentiment on the back you can stamp your sentiment right in here and then do this. You could put your sentiment on the inside. Your choice. You don't have to use this much white around the, the outside if you don't want to. I just thought that this was nice. I like the color combination and it pulls the blue from the from the inside and so I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions let me know. Thanks!